you left and you came back at 1.30 p.m., right? And you were back inside 75, right? You sat down Correct. I went went by court to observe Nothing the wrong court proceedings. With Nothing wrong with that. It's a yeah. public building. So you're yeah, I mean, that's what I came by there to do. Exactly. The one thing, though, we had a little concern was that when you came in and when you left, right? At about 3 o'clock you left, right? Yeah, I was there yeah. for about an hour and a half. I came by. I went through the actual... Yeah, um, yeah. The metal detector, and I went through the whole we, we nine yard. So okay. the bailiff, I think you had some um, conversation with the bailiff as you were walking out, right? I just asked him some information about the court, how long the judge has been on the bench Correct. for. Do you remember saying uh, something to effect of, hey, um, um, about uh, Judge Scott saying, hey, he's weaving, he's he has weaved in and out of um, traffic court into um, criminal court. Now he's at family well, well, no, I was able to look online at a lot of the news articles right. and like ha what ended up happening to him in criminal court and the fact that the judge was then sent through um, um, traffic court right. and then he reemerged in, in, in family court. And right. it is my right to that I didn't think he was a very good judge. I really don't okay. think so. And so my and, thing is, I just want to, we came down all the way down here just to say, ask you, what did you mean by that? You know how I mean, you guys really came all the way down did. here to, to, it to crazy, harass right? me at my grandmother's house? Well, we're not house? harassing you. We're just trying to talk to you. Get this uh, Did Judge straight. Stewart Scott send you down here? He did not. Who so, sent you down so here from the Sheriff's Department when, the when you talk to the bailiff, Who right? sent you guys down here from the listen, Sheriff's Department? Listen, from you. listen to me. Excuse yeah. me, officer. I'd like to know who sent you down here through the Sheriff's You're Department. You're talking to him, right? Yeah, I'm talking to Come on, man. I'd like to know who sent you down here. No, I really would. Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? It's my right to go down there and do that. I went to a metal detector. I'm a I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't know Got why it. that's... And I'm not saying... That there's nothing wrong with it, okay? So the, the interaction you had with the bailiff, right? So you asked them, or you... I guess you kind of eluded that, right? You mentioned about Judge Scott and how he's weaved in and out of... Um, traffic well, no, that he, he started off in criminal court. Right. And then there was an issue with a... Um, a district attorney and he had right. brought her into private chambers and I read about the actual complaint with the Judiciary Board. Okay. So I went over that and I looked over the actual complaint online mm -hmm. and then I realized that he had been brought up on ethics charges. Right. And then I realized that he was papered through the district attorney, not the, the public defender's office, uh -huh. so he was then um, went through tra actual traffic court. They ended up not, he wasn't able to do any more cases in criminal, Got it. so then he went through traffic and what I was saying to the bailiff is that he has now re-emerged in family court. Got it. And, and that's what I brought up with him. And I, and, and I said, you know, there were a lot of issues in the family. I mean, I'm surprised he's actually so still a right judge. There, there's nothing wrong with you saying that, okay? Yeah. So just hear me out for a second, okay? Okay. And I think after that, I think you told the bailiff, hey, I, do, I did my research, right? Yeah, I'm a very so educated a, person. I've done exactly. my research. And, and you, know? you should, too. If you're yeah. walking into a courtroom, you, sh you should do, do, a, do a background, or not a background check, but a history, you know, do all yeah, that yeah, research. No, no, yeah, no, right? yeah, and that's my right to do it, right, too. And, and, you know, I've sat, so, I sat peacefully in the back of the courtroom. I wanted to watch how he handled other cases. Um, and I had a case earlier that morning, it. and I just wanted to see how, how he is actually handling cases. Got it. So, and I pulled case law just, up online, and I started looking at other people that were having interactions with Okay. Uh, so for appeal, because I want to actually be able to appeal um, what had happened there right. in his court. There's nothing wrong with that, okay. okay? When you tell bailiff that, right, the bailiff has to, he has to let the judge know, okay? Because we don't know what's a, what's a threat, what's a real threat, what's a non-real threat, right? No, so I didn't make any threats exactly. to the... Just, just hear me out here. I mean, there was two bailiffs there, and there was two other ladies standing right next to me. Right, so he told the judge, right? And judge, I mean, I don't know how he took it, but judge kind of thought it was sort of a, a threat. Right. So the judge, Stuart Scott, sent you out to he my grandmother's house anybody. right now, guys? He didn't send anybody out there. Okay, guys. Well, um, guys, I understand. I get the picture, okay. and I consider this harassment, and I didn't say anything wrong. And I'd like you guys to know I am filming you right now in my grandmother's yard, and I no longer want to talk with either one of you, okay. and um, I did not threaten a judge. No. That's, I did that's nothing like I mean. that, guys, and this is okay. very rude to come over to my grandmother's house, and my grandmother's 86 years old. She's actually gone for the next four days, and thank God she wasn't here, because this is really bad to do. Judge, yeah. judge Stewart Scott anymore, right? is not a very good judge at all to do this. To send two sheriffs out here, I, I, I am ashamed to be a resident of Santa Clara County. Okay, I understand, Mr. Park. We're doing our job, so... Thank you for. Your I, I understand, and I appreciate if you guys would leave my property okay, now. You got it. You Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And I, and I don't appreciate that, and you can let Judge Stewart Scott know that I don't appreciate him doing that.